Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Arcade Tokens podcast. We are the Arcade Tokens. I am the anomaly Will Farrow. Leo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. I'm Patrick Cloud. And to court, of course, shout out to the tech guy as always. And today's special guest, Mr. CT, is in the building, sir. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure to have you here as well, too, sir. So, uh, We've had you on some of our programming before, not only through here, through all deaf. Uh, we had previously had you on Games That Define Us, and something uh, kind of sparked. Uh, we've had this kind of uh, podcast before with uh, CP as well. Funny how CP, CT, and we're doing these episodes. Easter egg. But um, <laughs> today, we wanted to kind of bring in our Phantom Fiction again for this episode. Now, all of us are obsessed with Marvel. We have spent countless nights playing the new Marvel Avengers game till one in the morning, knowing we have to do stuff early. <laughs> it's so addictive. Yeah. And so it was so good that it had sparked DC enthusiast CT to uh, bring us a game formerly from DC that was kind of similar to it back in the PlayStation 2 era, which made us question why do we not have a DC game now? And if we did, it should be just like Marvel's Avengers. So, in great arcade tokens fashion, since y'all like to take all of our ideas anyway. Anyway, <laughs> all the time. We are going to make the Justice League video game in the same format as Marvel Avengers. And so, of course, we had to have, again, DC Enthusiast CT here with us to help us guide through this and to really give y'all the DC game that y'all deserve. So I think one of the best things for us to start off with on this is um, kind of how Marvel did. Marvel's campaign mode, we're not going to give any spoilers away to the Marvel Avengers game, but they cert they focus it around Kamala Khan, which is the new Miss Marvel. Um, so a lot of people aren't aware of her, but I like, just like I think the rest of us can agree that they use the newbie to kind of go throughout the story to bring all of our regular characters we're used to together. So the question I would like to dive into first from the DC catalog, who would be the best character for us to get this campaign story through the eyes of? Yeah. Yes, sir. Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle, Jaime Reyes would be the perfect candidate to get to replace Kamala Khan in a DC situation because Blue Beetle is also the second person uh, to receive the uh, the Scarab. Uh, the first was Ted Core, And it's one of those things where we didn't get a chance to know that much about Blue Beetle outside of the Young Justice. So being able to see Blue Beetle you're not only getting uh, a team perspective, but he could be the one to try and bring the band back together or try and save the day because he's still a brand new hero and wants to see the good in everything compared to these grizzled warriors who've been through it all. Mm -hmm. I agree. And then with, and then him from the newest uh, cats of superheroes like him, the Young Justice and stuff, He's one of them uh, that is the loner out of kind of like all mm -hmm. of them. Like if something is to happen, he doesn't have like a huge side, a uh, huge person like Aqualad to Aquaman. Like right. it's him and this talk and the scarab that talks to him. Mm -hmm. And so I think he does have a strong background to be able to be our perception into this campaign. He's figuring it out. It's like he doesn't know, even as he gets older, he's learning new things about the scarab and it's not the only scarab. There's yep. a blue one. I mean, there's a green one, a red one, and a black one, I think. Yeah, a black one. That's the huge one. That dude is ridiculous. And does not respect Blue Beetle at all. <laughs> I was going to throw out Booster Gold at first. I thought it'd be a cool, a cool view of what it's like. He's already a superhero, but he's always like the most, dis like they disrespect Booster. No one likes him. <laughs> no one. But let's say something popped off and we don't know where the Justice League is, but he's still holds true and tr uh, tried to like what the definition of a hero is. Mm -hmm. So he wants to go back and get everyone back to the table. And he knows he's not getting a seat there, but he knows what the Justice League means to the world mm -hmm. and inspired him to want to do good as well. That was my, my suggestion, but I, I see Blue Beetle and I'm like, you know what? Blue Beetle it is. But is hear he this though, Cleo. What's up? This goes back to what I said. I always say Cleo Thomas is the childhood best friend that I deserved, okay? Because of this. Oh, my mama, in my head, I said, I'm going to say Booster, and I swear at the last second, I said Blue Beetle. I promise you. 
Love, see, see. They, see they, no, in no, in uh, Booster supposed to be played by The Rock? Ain't they making a lot? They uh, no, Booster. it's something he's supposed to be playing. It's something else. He's Black Adam. To be. He's Black Adam. No, 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 no. There was another something else that was a show. It may not be this. No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry. This was like an Alan Quartermain type of character. I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> Wrong thing. Wrong thing. This dude uh, has a collar. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good old Booster Gold. Booster man. Gold Booster is, Gold. Is, is, is he wants to be popular. He wants mm-hmm. the people to love him. He's over the top. And the the heroes can't stand this annoying ass influencer wannabe. They can't stand him. But he's a hero and he's powerful. They usually put him on um on a detail when it comes like if there's a huge destruction that happens in the city, they're usually telling Booster, make sure that people get out safe. And he's the guy like, guys, this way. He's that guy. Yeah. They never let him in the fights. He's the first no, influencer. No. I'm glad you said that. He yeah. had, he was an influencer. What was uh, the Justice League was like 2000? <laughs> He's no. the first. He was the first influencer superhero, bro. Before the boys, it was Booster. But I right. like this idea, man. I like I like um, Blue Beetle being who we follow through the series of the DC game for sure. Mm-hmm. I would I, I, I want to know more about Blue Beetle, so I I would be down with that. My thing is this though. Every time I look up between them two, every time I looked up Booster Gold. And then, mm-hmm. of course, I, I see a thousand photos with Blue Blue, Blue Beetle and Booster Gold together. Mm. Like, there's a lot of photos. Like, I'm going to pull up another one right now. Like, they're they're apparently damn near a match set at this point. Well, they're, they're the older ver- the old the first version of Blue Beetle, yeah, they were a duo. Yeah. So yeah. you might go yeah. down that route with it. You might be able just to, you know, have both of them come through in the beginning, I, at least. I get Beetle. it. I get it. I love. I, I do say Blue Beetle. Um, I even enjoy the Booster Gold. But man, listen, I'm doing it for the culture, bro. Static Shock. Oh. Let us look from from the small streets. Cool. Campaign wise, something huge happened, and he got to connect with the Justice League. And don't throw time in where he may have to go to the '50s to the Justice Ooh. Society. Come Ooh. on, the shit he got to deal with there. In space, like again, I would say out of all of those, them two, yeah, Blue Beetle and Static Shot, bro, that would that that I love those two, but I just I'm sorry, I had to do it for the culture, bro. I love Static Static Shot. Yeah, that's a good one. That's solid. That is very solid. Almost kicking myself solid. (laughs) (laughs) I got two submissions. Oh. All right, so this one might be a little bit cliche, but I love the the movie so much that I would really enjoy this. Mm-hmm. I feel like if we got a like a custom storyline where we got to see Kid Flash discover some type of this this the same type of like time, like figure out how to go through time, mm-hmm. and the other five Justice League members that you uh, have to choose from varied depending on the era that you were in. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like a rotating cast. So if he went, you know what I mean? Like there will be a, a, a lineup with like Batman and then there'll be like a lineup with Aquaman. So like, it's literally like based on like the storyline. So like, you know what I mean? There's kind of like more options, but Kid Flash is sort of like the, it, it's all centered around him. So it's almost like a, a Flashpoint Paradox starring Kid Flash, mm-hmm. the video game. So Which, you could either fight with the Justice League we know or, or or potentially fight with, like, the JSA? On some Watchmen, Watchmen level stuff. Okay. <laughs> I okay. think that would be lit. Right. So um, you're talking about which, which Flash came from the future? That's his son. That he said the world was destroyed. Which one was that? Which which Flash is that? Came from the future and said he was whose son? Uh, the, I don't know if it's, he's the Flash's son or he's about impulse. son. Impulse, is it impulse? One of them come. One of his children's come back because of, uh, that there he's a twin. His his twin. Oh, is a, um, a yeah, yeah, yeah. You talk okay. So first, so I'm not completely mind busted and destroyed. Are you referencing the comic book version, the television show version, or are you uh the cartoon version? The comic book version, the two little, the two white ones. Okay, uh, I believe his children end up being uh. It's gonna take me too long to reference it, but yes, one of his kids do come back, and he does have twins. Are you talking okay. about Bart? I do not know the name. Kids? I think that is it. Is he a Flash though? He, I mean, he's an imp- I see Impulse, and then the yeah, next Impulse is Bart. Bart. Okay. Allen. That hmm. looks just like him. 
Uh, or just, uh, I mean, he look he looks like a Flash. If I've ever seen a Flash before, it looked just like him. Oh, he got a fire ass outfit. I like Bart Allen. Yeah, I was like, if you going if you going off of that one, that would be here's, real dope. Here's Bart Allen, pretty much. Yeah, I like Bart yeah, Allen. Now that's crazy. Like it's him. like Knuckles if he was a human. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I like it. If he had white gloves with spikes, that'd be it. That's yeah. Lit. That's lit. I'm yeah, down with that. And my second choice, I'm going to be on an island, but I would like to see this. All right, so. You smiling yeah. hard. That means this is about to be yeah, some wild yeah, shit. Man. <laughs> and your boy Damian Wayne turns 13. Oh, my goodness. He turns 13 and he starts, you know, he's already up in his dad's business. Now he's like, I'm grown. I got a medical degree. <laughs> I am a full ninja. I'm trying to be in the Justice League. What up? So now Batman has Look is at on this cocky life. little shit. Woo! <laughs> Hit him with it. Hit this him may with be, it, Dave. This may be jumping the gun, yo. Throw everybody else shit out the window, including mine. Let's go with Robin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, ain't nobody shit no on Damien right now, bro. You right. can't follow Damien. Let me let Pat finish. What bro, you mean? Ima imagine, imagine him. Uh, okay, he's this cocky as a child. Yeah. So imagine when he's just now getting to the age where he was like, he's like a couple years younger than like young Spider-Man would be. So mm -hmm. he's... Spider-Man wanted to be in the Avengers when he was a kid, and he was nowhere near as cocky as Damien. So now he's just like, Batman, what up? He's smart enough to follow his, his dad to, to the meetings. So it, even if they said no, he would find a way. He hacked the Batcave his first day there. <laughs> that makes no sense. So I feel like at some point, even though Batman would be like, no, never, mm -hmm. everybody around him would start saying like, like Bruce, think about it. Like <laughs> right. there, Bruce. fire, fire. fire bro. I feel like that storyline would not only be fire, but it would cause tension with Batman and everybody else. But then it's like once he really gets accepted and he gets that Justice League tag, and you see him in the mix with everybody else, like it'd be a wrap. Hearing that, Patrick Sto Cloud, if I make him, yeah, uh, storyline is on fire. Go ahead. It does. Kadeem, you're you're on my right path. However, let me say this. When you look at Damian Wayne and the fact that you just sold this argument, Will knows, Cleo knows, I know Kadeem knows. This is why you need to watch Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. The fact that you said that. And I'm going to leave it there. Because you, you think he's too evil. I can't say what I'm about right. to say. So just no spoil. Okay, I get it. Yeah, but what you built up, you may see. That's all I can say. Bro. I don't care. I've seen it. I don't care. <laughs> Damian Wayne needs to get his shine. I'm sick. I'm sick of the banner. And let's just face it, he'll sock all of us out. No, no sidekicks at the J the Justice League table. No sidekicks. Batman He's said it. No sidekicks get to he sit at that evolves table. Evolves past sidekick level. If anybody would do it, it's him. Even he's more still than a Robin. Robin. He's still, he's a, still Robin. a Robin. He can. He's no, still no. Actually, he's nobody's a Wayne. scared of a Robin, bro. He's a Wayne that became Robin. Like, let's not forget. He took that suit off. He's still Damian Wayne. <laughs> I get that's that. what y'all keep forgetting. Then fun, now but... it's League of Shadows. Damian Wayne. Nah. League of Assassin. Yeah, League of Assassins. Yeah. Or it could have been Court of Owls. Let's go put this Damian up here real quick. Wayne. That's pretty dope. And just crazy enough, he pulled that up. Come on. That's a dope, Look, ass, that's that's a dope ass action figure. It is. Dick Grayson became a Nightwing. Fire. Tim Drake became that's a Red Hood. They were all nothing before Bruce. Wait, Tim Drake or Jason Todd? Jason Todd. Jason Todd. Excuse me. Jason Todd. Red Hood. Tim Drake. Red Robin. We don't really care about them, even though he's great. He's the best Robin. You don't even have an alternative name yet. He hasn't even hit us, so we can't accept my man because he ain't even stepped out on his, his own. His, he's he's going to be a Robin in 10 Damian, years. Damian Wayne is his right. other name. That's what it is. You, That's what you're sleeping on. Like, he's already got clout. He was Damian like, Wayne's coming. Nah, bro. <laughs> no one healing out Damian but That's not fair Wayne. because you guys give the people in the League of uh, the League of Shadows their, their due. You give you give them their due, and he started there, and then, like Will said, became a Robin. Mm. I mean, so he, 
He Rashad started. Gould. That's about it, though. Rayshard Gould. That's that's it. That's you, all we think of. You say Rayshard Gould like that dude ain't that dude. He is the guy. You that saying dude. that like he's Mirror Master or something? Don't do <laughs> that. Rayshard Gould is that dude. He, he trained that dude. Batman. That, you're right. He that dude. Let me stop. He that dude. Damon but at the same time, I hear your point. I hear your point when saying Damian Wayne is Damian Wayne and the Robin costume. But this is what you got to understand, Pat. You broke into two completely different arguments in what you just said with Damian. First, we started this out with uh, the DC video game taking place of the Marvel game compared to what you kind of finished your point with, which is saying he gets to sit at the Justice League table. So that's two completely different joints. I can get behind him starting in the video game and trying to, you know, assemble the crew, but I can't get with him sitting at the table of Justice League until he has his own moniker outside of Robin as an adult. So then, okay. So then if this game followed him starting that process, but he never was technically in the Justice League until further yeah. out because maybe it, the, the this game ends with him getting his first moniker uh-huh yeah, i mean of course that? you could use you can use the whole flash thing about going f- further into the future and then mm-hmm. damien has to take over you know what i mean so, how about that mate what if that was batman's compromise what if the whole everybody else convinced him so much that he said he doesn't sit at the table until he becomes his own hero so now he has the entire influence of now he had he had not only all that assassin training and the the training of Batman mm-hmm. now he has the entire Justice League grooming him to just be a hero so then they can consider him to be in the Justice League. Another I'm with thing, it. I accept another thing that. too is Bruce could die in some kind of war at the that's, beginning. That's what I'm saying. And he becomes Batman because remember there is a picture out of him as a teenager as Batman. I, Dane, I like would you please pull it up if you wouldn't? Mind. That could be the end, but that, like, what I'm saying is that could be the ending part of where he joins the Justice League. Fun uh-huh. time, I think I just found that. Hold on. I like the I just, idea of DC getting a new hero, though. No? That too. Is that okay? So Damien's no, in the no, front, that's or the evil, that's the evil one. Okay. Like, that's when he grows that's up. That's the Damien that burned down Gotham. That was like, yeah. man, Ooh. Bro, yeah, this yeah. Bud Pop's that's, tripping. We ain't saving it. Yeah, that's Scorch the one with the, the, the trench coat and the guns, not him. Yes. He that's the hero everybody. Gotham needs. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and that's Jason Todd already. We already got that. He is the one. Uh, he didn't do that, though. He didn't do that, though. That's one thing Jason, Jason Todd, Todd didn't get done. Yeah, Jason Todd ain't shit. And when it was about time, what he did? Cry? Hey, 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 that man died. He went and cried on the, all right. From crowbar metal. Why did you, stay, why did did you, you kill Joker? Crowbar metal. Why did you kill Joker? <laughs> you had to kill him. This nigga right, Batman is struggling with a regular nigga in a clown suit for <laughs> his whole career. And Damien. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Let me say it. If Damien was Batman, Joker would have had one solid season. I guarantee. <laughs> Big facts. He probably would have died mid season, too. And Harley Quinn would have finished it out. These I love Batman Jokers, and Joker to death. They are my tops. They are my top, top. But you cannot. You cannot look past the fact that Batman's one rule that makes him not kill kind of it, it almost cancels out the fact that he's a superhero because he does all this stuff and then don't follow through and then he get away and get out and murder a whole bunch of other people. It's just like, well, you could have just. Bro, I, this new story that they're telling on, on the comics right now, this exact argument you're making. Be different, different now. Oh, I'm telling you, they're gonna make a huge, drastic change to the DC landscape. I'm telling you. Look, they're, I'm, I'm, go I'm on. midway. I'm midway through everything, and I'm talking shit. So, <laughs> no, 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 no. sit you, back you, and let me. No, 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 not the, my, not the movie. Not the movies you're watching. Not the movies you're watching. I'm talking about the actual comics that are releasing right now. That's what oh, I'm. Talking. Oh, oh, trust me, you are gonna see why now, move, moving forward, why he be having problems with Joker. It ain't finna be that whole like clown punch keeping you loud. No, man, I'm I'm gonna drive you to kill me. I'm going you going either that or you gonna drive yourself crazy. Everyone mm. everyone wants to kill the Joker. We saw what happened with an injustice storyline. Like Superman really did it. Soups did it. I mean, no questions asked. He made the Joker that, poisoned Superman and said, "I'm gonna make you kill your girl and your unborn child." Mm. Superman didn't even waste time. Once he finally woke up, he ran. <laughs> 
flew mm. into the jail and put his whole hand through Joker. I That's do agree with Pat. Damien would have been off this dude years ago. That's a fact. Yes. But you got to remember, Batman doesn't kill. Okay, here's the thing, the internal beef between, or not beef, but uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the who? Yeah, the thank you. Struggle. The internal struggle is when you see Damien and Bruce. Bruce was raised completely different than Damien. Damien was raised to kill. He was raised to handle his problems a certain way. He didn't learn humanity until Bruce kind of drilled it into him. Right. So that's why that would happen. Bruce was you know, had a trauma early on. So he ironically chose life and vengeance, but not murder. So that conflict in itself is why um, we have the Batman that we have and not a villain like Damien. If Talia al Ghul would have brought Damien to Gotham and been like, yo, we about to take this place over. He would have just taken it over. I know. Pr- pretty much everything you say is, is right. You're way deeper into... into <laughs> I'm just saying from where I stand, I think that because Gotham is lower than the pits of hell, it should, it should just, like, it should be burned down. Low key. But... Since, you know, it's it's all about saving it and all that stuff. I just think that Br- Bruce's trauma is, it runs so deep that it just gets in the way. So for him to have a son who's just as good, if not better, and will mm-hmm. continue to get better. So by, by the time he's Batman's age, he will be way more advanced. But he still has the morals and the humanity instilled from uh, somebody who's wise like Batman. I think you would get a better hero for Gotham. That's a cold ass picture, bro. And, if, and the thing is, if Batman died, <laughs> that picture. Well, one That's thing I've cold. noticed is that if he died, that would be the push for him to give his humanity. It's like, yo, to honor my father, I w- I will abide by him and not kill anybody. Whatever happened with Damian Wayne? So we know with the epilogue of seeing Terry McGinnis become uh, a better adult Batman, we never see Terry McGinnis interact with Damian Wayne. And I'm like, what happens? Recently. Because they're second. both brothers. And realistically, how it goes. That's then, no, this is, this is after uh, Damian leaves. So the thing, that I, the, the, the thing that I was trying to put together and I didn't figure out was... Damien becomes Batman, burns into the ground, and then they rebuild it. And mm. then that's Terry McGinnis's Gotham. And okay. so he disappears and no one sees him again. And that was what led Bruce to exile and disappear from the world until Terry McGinnis comes back. I don't know if that's true, though. Mm. Hey, bro, there's this thing, there's this picture I'm looking at of an older Damien Wayne, and uh-huh. he took over Rachel Ghoul's spot. He got the race colors on. He looked crazy oh. fighting Terry McGinnis. Oh, yeah. That was the other thing. He takes That's all That's incredible. Ooh. Assassins. I like Assassins. it. Assassins. I like the it. whole army over. That's yeah. crazy. And, and this is perfect, right? And what? And took it from Raj. Like, he went and fought Raj to take it. He's a dangerous motherfucker, man. So that's why Pat rides for him, and I get it. When, like when we have these discussions, I understand why Pat loves Damian Wayne. And I so feel like much. there's something I haven't seen yet, which is why you guys are kind of like, man. <laughs> <sighs> it's a solid argument. You got us chatting. It, yeah. It's hard to control them. That's the thing, and it's yes. like it's kind of the Vegeta aspect. You know, like you don't you don't put your money behind the villain that's still kind of good. But, but since when has Batman been easy to control? That's very true as well, because like if we really think about it, Gotham is just his insane playhouse. You pay millions and millions to keep hell going. He's when playing a game with these villains. Yeah, and I get it because it's a series and you want these villains to come back. But I'm just saying if Gotham had a Batman who just killed when it was necessary, like he had morals, but he's like, you know, these are bad guys. Like this, this guy was planning a mass shooting. Like I, I you, he was just offing his 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 villains if it got too bad or having a better justice system that just kept them in jail what is going on with you're you? letting me know what kind of what kind of hero you would be patrick and this is very disturbing and i'm telling you why once you commit one murder as a superhero because you feel like the ends justify the means where does the line stop it that, doesn't no that's actually not true because thor I can have a code and have murder i think or kills and out. captain america kills this we're talking about marvel and dc who who in DC kills? Uh, Arrow kills. No, Arrow killed in the TV show, and then he stopped. 
but he's he created a line. Him. He created a line to where he's like, I won't cross this line. And after that line is created, he doesn't cross it. That's white people, though. Uh, <laughs> I, would, I would be the first superhero ever that had a solid code of morals that included murder. What that is not. Wonder Woman kills people. Wonder Woman only kills uh, other gods. She doesn't kill people. Man, this sounds real white. No, I don't like it. I'm not arguing with like it. it. Listen, it's like this, bro. If I am a uh, alien from outer space and you're an alien from outer space and we live amongst these human beings, we're not killing these human beings because they can't match our power. Superman killed Zod and that created an uproar because we were like, ah, we know you're not supposed to do that. But if you died from someone else's hand, I'm not going to stop that. But Wonder Woman and a Batman are two completely different things. I'm but sorry. That's, flawed. that's kind of flawed, Loki. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, so, so that's why my... I know I could get away with a list that include a little bit of murder. Yeah. What is a little yeah. bit of murder? <laughs> the Joker. Oh, so, 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 so. <laughs> you killing the penguin for human trafficking? Oh. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Hang him uh, in front of City Hall. Just are leave you killing, Are you killing Two Face for, for sending a hit out to kill a competitor or somebody who's competing for his land? No. Ah. That's that's jail time. Hands. That, that's why I think that my my moral code would have to be air airtight around it because I would have to prove that this guy would and did keep offending and that killing him even though it wasn't like within the ju the justice system would be better for the city because if he's just constantly getting away with it what's to stop other human traffickers or murderers or all that other stuff. So I think if it gets to a bad a point that's bad enough, like Penguin or Joker, where it's literally a super villain, like you have to understand, there are villains and then they cross into super villain. I just think there is once you're once you play with that super word, then it's just like I so, super killed him. <laughs> so it's pretty so it's pretty much Black Gate versus Arkham. It's pretty much drawing the line between them. Like like obviously you go to, if you go to Arkham, you can you can get murdered. You can die. You go to Blackgate, <laughs> and you might survive. But they send yeah, in, they send in powerful folks over there to, to Arkham, like Bane in there, Poison Ivy in there. They ain't they ain't really doing nothing other than well, Ivy's an eco terrorist, so but we don't know. Yeah. I think what we need to do is beef up security in Arkham. I think that's number one. Yeah. First and foremost, cops are they all like break out of there, bro. In fact, yeah. cops don't have guns in any of this shit in Arkham. Man. What are you doing with a whistle and pills? I don't I don't it's, get what's happening. <laughs> You built a whole sewer system for the alligator dude to swim under in Arkham, but you can't get a pistol and a taser. No. For these folks? I mean, Killer Croc gonna leave wherever he wants to. The Killer Croc out of there. I don't give a damn money anymore. He don't. He choose to stay there. He exactly. just be like, Yo, I'm here. Yeah, I'm so where else can he go in? In like you know, reality, not reality. Uh, in the city. New in the city, yeah. Yeah, he can't New go anywhere in Gotham. No. He can go to New Orleans. He can go to the Everglades. <laughs> he can go to New Orleans. Uh, he can so go to we, West. He can do a lot of stuff. Are so we seeing the, this okay. story through Damien's eyes? Are we seeing it through Booster Gold's eyes? Are we seeing this story through uh, the Blue Beetle's eyes? Mm -hmm. Or, Will, who'd you bring to the table? Um, static Shock. Static or shock. Static Shock. It's, it's weird been? with Static because we, don't, we weren't given enough. And it's, right. not, it's not our fault. It's it's just what the, what's out there in the world. We were not given enough of his, his his story, his villains, what other crossovers. We weren't given much for Static, so this, it's hard to bet on that, bro. No, no. This and this is what I have to combat. That that is the reason why. Because if you think about it, Kabba, uh, Kamala, we don't know really too much about her either. Mm -hmm. And so with him, you do have a few characters that you can pull, like Ebon that can be partnered with one of whoever our main story is. And I think that's going to be the biggest thing that we'll have to discuss next, how the story is based. Because mm -hmm. if it's based to where we're involved with the Justice League, you don't really have to know too much about him as far as his story goes, but more as to how will his powers grow? How Where, where do we start off? How do we mm -hmm. start in fits and that whole concept? But also the same thing too for... Uh, Blue Beetle for Jaime Reyes. We don't really know too much about him besides the sca other scarabs, but it's the same kind of concept as well. Yeah. 
a big thing about it for me is like although each one has an interesting like story element to it you have to think like uh, gameplay you know like gameplay wise what what do you what would you rather do because obviously playing as flash in an open world would be awesome playing a static shock flying around sick you know what i mean damian wayne not as cool you know like it would be dope the combat would be cool but i'm yeah. just trying to think of like the 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 the, the elements that make superhero games dope the way that you could swing around new york city in, in spider-man you know so that uh, looking at when you say that uh it brings to the mind dc universe online came out a couple years ago right and in that. comparison to right it was fire however what they sold us on and what they gave us were two completely different things they sold us dc universe online and this sick ass trailer that loki was a dope little animated short film that would put you in the mind of what this avengers game is right but when you play the game you can't play as batman you can't play as any of the justice league officials you create your own player uh, and you okay. continue to play in this open world and solve missions and it's like this is cool but if i could have also played as batman and the primary seven members of the justice league right. and then created a character this would be dope but you're not even giving me that option right. and also it was nothing like the trailer that they showed us nothing like it nothing like it at all no. i will say though uh to cleo and ct's point myself i can unfortunately even though i am a huge fan for him I can rule out Robin in this situation only because of the sidekick aspect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, and then for Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, it's kind of a, a old pairing. And I'm just like, no offense to Booster Gold, he's dope. I wouldn't, I would like to see him make a cameo mm -hmm. and possibly be in co op play, but I wouldn't want to see the perspective of the whole campaign story through him. So I'm, I'm more. Gonna, I, I would leave it at this real quick, Will. Like, again, you can. Technically speaking, in order to get this game pretty on the dark side, Booster Booster Gold could take the L, the big L. They can kill that man off right in front of Blue Beetle and keep it moving. You know what I mean? True. But do you want off. that as the, the main story though? Like no, you go just, just just a little thing to keep Booster you know, I, Blue I Beetle to try like, to get with Justice League. You know what I mean? I don't to think to that would affect the audience way. enough. I don't think that death would hurt the audience enough. And every time you kill a character off, I feel like the audience got to feel it. And I get it, but it's it's just more seeing it from the Blue Beetle's perspective. You know what I mean? It's more seeing that I mean, this is his friend, and Will he's out. Nothing well, when Maggie well, Gyllenhaal died in the Batman movies. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. And Kadeem, sure. you might be. Getting, I think you might be getting this mixed up because them two don't Booster Gold and the Blue Beetle we're referring to don't pair up. Okay. Yeah, that's Jaime Reyes. That's not the yeah. same Blue Beetle no. that Booster Gold hangs that's with. The way yeah, so it's so it's not this one. No, that's right. the, what's his name? Tim. That's Ted Court. Ted Court. The other dude's black, right? No, he's what? Hispanic. He's Hispanic. Yeah, Jaime. Jaime what, Reyes. We're talking about Jaime, though. That's that's the Blue Beetle we're referring to. Got you, got, got you. you. All right, never mind. There's... But he could make a cameo talking to him, and it's like, dang, you know, I remember, like, the original Blue Beetle. Like, I, I think that would be dope to see from Booster Gold. But I yeah, I'll want... give you this. You want a sick-ass opening, bro. Show Booster Gold and Blue Beetle literally in the middle of, like, saving the city or something like that, and Jaime is maybe 12 or 13, and he's walking around, and destruction is going on. They're clearing out stuff, and then somehow Ted Cord gets, like, murdered right there so hard that the impact pops off the scarab, ends up having to go search for Jaime, and then Booster is so – tread. Uh, he's just so in – I'm fucking up words today, but he, he's so distraught over losing his friend in that moment that he's like, man, I might take a break from superhero and fast forward. Now we see Jaime a little older with the scarab and he's protecting and saving blue uh, booster. Go gets sought out because they get told that he was the partner or super close with the original blue beetle. So now he's trying to learn his powers as the new blue beetle. And then that's one of those things where he's like, how come you didn't go to the justice league? And it's like, what justice league? And then bam, now we're on the path. And then that too, you don't even have to see the training part. You could just skip five years and you can go yep. in a diner. Booster goes a little bit older talking with Jaime and kind of just giving him like what he's could that did he learn from Ted and stuff like that. Like you said, like Justice League could be dismantled. Yeah. Like that. However, we create the story. Yeah. But also, too, this can happen with Static Shock. Let me not. <laughs> I'm not this too much. Static yeah. Shock could also have the same shit going on. I love and Static Shock. Him and Black Lightning can be uh, his mentor. 
I thought they were going to do that in the TV show with uh with R J Kyler who played yeah. the Blue Ranger in the Power Rangers movie. But like I thought he was going to be Static Shock on the TV season of uh Black Lightning. But they never did that. They had him play some separate character and killed him off. Well, they low key mentioned- was that character you're talking about like a henchman to the actual villain. Who? Which one? Uh, R J Kyler's character? Yeah, he was. He yeah he was getting trained to be a henchman because he was super smart and doing stuff for uh Tobias Will yeah 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 oh, it's for Tobias. that I'm glad but it would have made sense for him to be static it's like he's young yeah. he could have played the role they could have done the spinoff but they're not even thinking that's no, okay they mentioned, they mentioned- hey, l- listen the the static shock stuff's in the works they've yeah. heard the people it's coming we just gotta wait it out and see or we just build the story ourselves yeah go give them the script and we shoot it ourselves. And then, you know, we get praise as the guys who brought back Static Shock. You let me know what you Fire. want to do. You I'm let me right. know what you want to do. <laughs> Which is why I still say Static Shock should be the perspective of this, this camp. Yo, hey, Cleo <laughs> is the king of, I, I'm tired of talking about it. Let's fucking make some shit happen. That's Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> I think that uh, we, we got the furthest with the Blue Beetle one. So just to, to build out the game, let's, Let's say that that's that's how that's how we start. You know, we uh, we we got the 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 Blue Beetle coming into. Is, are you saying that he just became the Blue Beetle? Yeah. Well, now five years have passed, but okay. So he's aware of his powers, but he's still trying to adapt to them. So he's still trying right. to get- Okay, so he's not like really fighting crime yet. I mean, he is, but he's not. He's not the level of a young Superman yet. Yeah. And it's like now he's about to be sprung into action because there are no other heroes around. They are like dormant. Yeah, he, and I guess he's damn near Teen Titans level. Damn near. And right. I guess, yeah, and I guess to give some backstory for you, uh, uh, Pat, the Scarab talks to him. So mm-hmm. the Scarab also, too, is learning his surroundings of Jaime. So like some of the things he has to battle with is he might be in present danger, but he's not in danger, but the Scarab may believe he is. And then he'll just activate a cannon to protect Jaime, and he's like, yo, dude, I'm in like the middle of geometry class. What are you doing? We're all these Mexicans. No, 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 they cool. I'm Mexican. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's just like, and so <laughs> that's the stuff he has to deal with. Everything. First of all, um, I understand why this character is not popular. Um, that's a, that is an ass power. That is an ass power. Um, but uh, second of all, <laughs> Do you, uh, are you saying that he's gonna go join the Justice League to refine his powers? No, I'm saying that he is trying to get the Justice League back together because maybe there's some crazy threat that he feels is coming or somebody's trying. Usually what happens when the whole crew has to get back together is something is threatening the people of Earth or some type of mega ship is coming to Earth and you can't fight it by yourself. That's usually what unites everybody so like any avengers okay anyway keep going with that no no but what you just said i think just now proved the point of why again even though i like static blue beetle would be the best one because like you said they don't come together unless it's kind of like world ending alien invasion type stuff and mm-hmm. i think blue beetle would have the best reputation to pull all of them together because if static shock goes to like batman and says hey we found out like whoop de whoop and this is happening like dude who the fuck are you but like Blue Beetle, who has like an alien attached to him, it's like, yo, it makes more sense that he would be aware that this is coming. I yeah. like the fact that Blue Be- the, the Scarab being able to pick up a transmission is like, yo, we mm. gotta get this shit cracking because if you look, like I'm so sick and tired of Cyborg just being a walking mother box. I'm yes. sick of it. I'm tired, yes. bro. He, Dark Side and them keep coming back because of him. That's yep. it, bro. Off this dude. He's a walking mother box. Wherever he's at, you're, there's a threat around because of him. So let's True. scrap that. We've heard that story a million times. Let's say the Scarab is the one that's picking up a transmission, constantly telling uh, Jaime, yo, an invasion is coming. Mm-hmm. It is on the way. We need to get this figured out. But he doesn't talk like that, obviously. He talks way more like direct. He'd be like ready to blast on people. Yeah. It's all- through, through his dreams, that's what he's telling. That's where the transmission is coming from, through his dreams. Mm. Yeah. So what if, what if the, the, uh, what is it? The blue, blue beetle? Yeah. What if the blue beetle got the transmission was trying to tell everybody that, you know, we need to get back together because something is coming. Everybody's kind of hesitant. They don't listen. And then the thing comes and kills off one of the justice league members. Woo! 
I would say, I would say, let that be that opening scene, like you said. With and Booster, Booster Gold. Booster Gold got to go. I'm sorry. Let all Kill that be Booster the Gold. Opening, let all that be the opening scene, and then five years later, we find out, like, because again, like him bringing the Justice League, it has to be something that broke them apart. Cyborg I, guys. I think so. No, you know what I got for Cyborg? Cyborg turns on them and joins Dark Side. But I feel like that's happened so many times. No, 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 no. He chooses to do it. Like, not know, like, his brain gets taken up. Like, he chooses to join Dark Side against all of them. And he's one of the main reasons now why Dark Side is building up an even bigger army. But then that that makes him heavily involved, and I'm not a fan. I'm done. No, no, you don't, no, you I'm don't have done to. with Cyborg being a mother box. I'm done. Leave that alone. Kill him and move past it. Something comes down and kills him and one other member. Who's to go? Who's to go? Died anyway. We already got. Why would they even be together? I don't know. Oh no! Fuck that! Flash die. Hey, don't do that, sir. Don't do that, sir. Man, just and just because y'all that mad at it. Kill them all. Sir. This, this, this is what happened to Last of Us 2. Don't do this. Don't do this. No, 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 no. Cyborg and Aquaman. Ooh. No, you still oh, need you Aquaman. You can't kill Aquaman. You can't. Why? Why? How would we even use him in this game? Because then Ocean Master takes over Atlantis. And now you have yeah. to fix him and Atlantis in this story. Aquaman can Green Arrow. Not hard. Yeah, yeah, not hard about that. Yeah. Flash, just, just your reaction with Flash is the reason he's the one you that has to die. Do No, that. but it, it, it's it's dumb because we want to play as Flash. Exactly. The, right. The storyline can't trump yeah. gameplay. But again, think about it. You know we so, can't say it on here, but remember, Cap dies and what happened. What I'm saying is, though, hear me out. Mm-hmm. We kill Batman. No. I'm listening. We kill Batman. <laughs> Damien's up for the spot, baby. Let's do it. Damien here. Superman. Let's go, baby. <laughs> we don't kill Superman. You need soups. Yeah. You need soups. There's no one else in the Justice League world who, who's as powerful as this guy. We need the heavy hitter. You need the Blue Boy Scout. The Blue Boy Scout. So we keep soups. But Batman dies. <gasps> I don't like it. I'm not playing. No, 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 no. He hear me out. I know this is going to be fucked up to say. Wonder Woman. And that's what breaks up Batman and Superman. No, nah, I want to play as Wonder Woman in this. The only game. girl in there. They can come, come back, Pat. That's the thing. You can't they kill can him. They can come back. Here's the thing. But you I'll say you this. You can't come back if you if you kill off the Flash. You know that, right? That's kill, right. Kill yes, Green Lantern. Well, are... Everybody's beating around the bush. Everybody's no. beating around the big... <laughs> oh. Everyone is beating around this green bush. Listen. No, the one character that people would probably play as the least. Kill Green. off Green Lantern. The serious? only reason we will play as him as the least is if his powers that they offer us, like his attacks, weren't grand enough. Like if they didn't give us the Hulkbuster outfit for Green Lantern, if they didn't give us uh, some amazing type of uh, gun thing for his ring, then uh, you. I hate However, Hulk. I'm with Cleo with killing Batman only. Hold on, Cleo, have you finished the campaign of uh, Avengers? No. but Okay, I'm not going to say anything to spoil. No, 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 no. I will say. If they kill Batman, it has to be exactly like what happened in the video game for it to make sense. And I'm not spoiling anything by that. That's yeah. why I said Flash too. That was my whole point in saying even Flash okay. based off of that reason. But okay. I didn't want to give it away because for, for those like Cleo that haven't beat No, no, no. He won't even know what I said. Like once he gets to that part, Will, he won't even understand. Batman, but I think Batman and Flash are probably the two biggest ones. Nobody cares about Green Lantern enough for him to be killed. Like, yeah. Hal yeah. Jordan, we don't mind seeing die. And then Jon Stewart, we're not attached to enough. Yeah, we're because not attached. There's a whole core of them. They're all sitting in space. If anything, there's, it should have been them that there, stopped the invasion from coming to Earth. There's, but there's literally no three, there's three Green Lanterns on this screen right now. It's three of them. Hey, Jordan. Low key, let yeah. all of them die too in that first. Nah, no, no, kill him, kill him. We need one. Cause I don't want to end up with the Latin girl. Lee one. The Latin girl is fire, but I don't need her trying to figure out how to be a Green Lantern while we're doing this game. We already got one person trying to learn how to do so. That's big yeah. It got it got to be the Flash. My bad. It got to be Flash or Batman, bro. It's out of those. I think Batman can go. Batman is a heavy blow, bro. Like That's the no heavy blow. It that. would. It would. Story wise, too. Just like he gets like taken strategic. out. Pat gets what he wants. 
Damien gets to step up to the mantle a little bit. Ooh, and think about it. Then Blue Beetle got to go to Gotham, and then whatever's happening in Gotham five years after that? Ooh. Damn your turn to Blood Craven at that point. All right, so fill your fill your six slots then. What are the six playable characters in this game? As a guest, I would like to go third, please. I'm going to go Blue Beetle, The Flash. And we're talking all Justice League, right? Uh-huh. Shazam. Ooh! Ah, uh, boom, 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 boom. Aquaman. Mm. You know you Stoops. And um, you know what? Scratch Superman. Let me get Supergirl. We'll throw her out there. And then let me get let me get Hot Girl. Let me get Hot Girl too. Because okay. I loved Ooh. I loved her in the Justice Un- Unlimited uh, series, Justice League Unlimited series. Same. No Wonder Woman. No Wonder Woman off top for my team. I'm okay. Uh, you want to go next, Pat? Hey, just, just mind you. I'm just going to say before you, before you go and do this. You knew, knew we, we are getting DLC for Marvel Avengers. Like we are getting Spider Man included. Uh, and soon. Hawkeye. And Hawkeye. Yeah. So, like I said, I know we got six now, but at the same time, we can. We're gonna do no. We're gonna do DLC for this too. Okay. You gotta yeah. give the, you gotta to give the starting six. Yeah. You gotta give the starting six. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, so wait, Blue Beetle's an automatic one. Yeah. Uh, so five, definitely got... Flash. Yep. Wonder Woman. I would put in. I put in Green Arrow just because if Batman's dead, you kind of need the regular tech guy. And projectiles, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I think Shazam is pretty solid. That would be dope. Uh, oh yeah, new Batman. Um, Name it. Batman. 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 Yeah, your first choice has to be your first choice. Right. Your first choice right. is your first choice. Um, I'm going with uh, Blue Beetle. I'm going Superman, Batman, Flash, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman. Need Wonder Woman. Okay, that'd be hard. With an honorable know. mention, That's the league. That's to the get league right uh, there. that is the league right there. I will take an honorable mention of Shazam because when soon as you said Shazam, bro, I start thinking, yo, Billy Batson is a kid this whole time. So what if he started the story off? And that's man, damn, Cleo. I got places to go, would, baby. That would got be places so to cool. go in this. That yeah. would be a good start too. Shazam, the Shazam kid. That would be. That would be high, high man and him are our actual classmates. Boom. But doesn't he get like? Oh yeah. Yeah, and he gets taken over though too, though. I think Shazam is a solid DLC character for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's absolutely. four. Damn, there's four Green Lanterns in there. One, yeah. two. Kyle three. Rayner, Kyle Garner, Kyle Garner, uh, Hal Jordan, Kyle yeah. Rayner, John Stewart, and. What's my man? Oh, the, the guy with the red hair. Oh, uh, shit. Back, back. The hot headed the hot headed one. Yeah. The one that got the uh, lantern logo right here on the side. And it yeah. <laughs> Look like a letterman jacket on him. All right. <laughs> right. So let's go through the move list. What's what, what's right, the right, move list? I can't, I can't name it. No, no, we'll didn't go. Oh my we'll bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh I'm gonna go with of course Blue Beetle. I'm going with of course Aquaman, obviously. Uh Power Girl. I want to use mm-hmm. Power Girl. Power Girl is hella dope. Gets slept on. Another one, Zantana. I Zantana. think Zantana's magic would just be off the freaking chain. Mm-hmm. That'd be dope, uh, yeah. She up, she up there in the top right, right? The magician yeah. suit up there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah with the uh, panties. White yeah. t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, and then Fishnets course, looking so good. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, and of course, Batman and then uh, Flash. And the honorable mention, another magic person, Constantine. Constantine's would up. you add Constantine to the game? DL- DLC, I would. Because here, here's the okay. thing. I would love for them to add a DLC of a dark version. To ah. I would love to play as Justice League Dark. Can we do our DLC 6 before we go to the move list? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. So for my DLC, Static Shock, I'm going with uh, Static Shock. I'm going to go with Aquaman, I'm also going to go with, because I'm starting with John Stewart Green Lantern, so my Hal Jordan would be the third DLC. Fourth DLC for me would have to be Dr. Fate. Mm. Um, the fifth one would be Hawk Girl, and the sixth one would actually be Hawk Man. Nice. He never gets any love. Yeah, he doesn't. 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 Yeah. Uh, uh, I would like to roll out my DLC as 
the complete Teen Titans. <laughs> okay. Damn. That me, solid. The complete Arr. roster of the Arr. Teen Titans. I want uh, Cyborg mm-hmm. there. Uh, I want Raven. I want Starfire. I want. Is that Dick Grayson? Who Who's the head of Teen yeah. Titans? Yeah, Dick, is, Grayson. Yeah, Dick Grayson. Dick Grayson. And uh, yeah, just give me the Teen Titans as that one. Boom. There it is. And they all appear in the roster. It does a little intro logo. When yeah. there's trouble, you know who to call. Yeah, Team Titans, this would be amazing. <laughs> All right, we do we doing that? Okay. Um, no. If that's the case, give me a whole bunch of them from the Young Justice roster. Then give me Aqualad, give uh-huh. me Static Shock, uh, give me uh, Damien if he's not in here. Who's the? Uh, and we got six, right? You need Superboy. Superboy. Uh, 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 Megan, Megan, the girl, Marsha. Yeah, Miss Marsha. Yeah. I'm a boy. Oh, 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 oh black, 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 Black Manta. Black Manta is another one. Move from Young Justice. Black Manta is another one. I whoa, think whoa, 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 whoa! Manta, he's a villain. He's a villain. I mean, what, I don't care. He can. No, 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 no. Can't do that, Will. No, 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 no. You have to choose a hero, bro. Damn it! Okay, all right. Have a moment, Speedy. Why do you want to sleep on Speedy? Speedy. On who? Speedy. Oh, Speedy. Speedy uh, Red Arrow. Red Arrow <laughs> sidekick. Hell no. Hey, listen. When it comes to Justice League, Speedy. when it comes to Teen Titans, Speedy was up there with Robin. He was competing with Rob. Yeah, but he really was. He was, but he, he wasn't. He really wasn't. I know. He wasn't. Well well say, well say, get, get the Shazam kids while you at it. Like, <laughs> Black how about, how about Monty Menos? Super Menos, okay? <laughs> Monty Menos. <laughs> I don't even want to finish my deal. Finish it, because you wilding right now, bro. We're taking Black Manta off your list, and now keep going. Yeah, we <laughs> need Black Manta. <laughs> no, can't have him, bro. Uh, no, you tried to slip him in like it was cool, too. Like, we wasn't going to say shit about it. Oh, really trying to slip it in? Okay, Black gonna... Manta. <laughs> Black the Manta. force behind it. Like, he Black was Manta. in Justice League once. once. He was in the building. Oh, God. Yeah, getting arrested. Bro, <laughs> the back in the ocean. Little, in the Justice League. You wild. <laughs> uh, Raven. Raven is another one. Yeah, Raven, like he said, Raven. I think I think Raven will probably be one of the biggest DLC characters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, how, about a, how about Enchantress? What are, well, either one or the other, I would feel. Enchantress thought, or, Ra- or Raven? I thought Enchantress was, was bad. Is she? She's she good. She's like the anti here because she can't control. It's not like she can control it and use her for good. She uh, comes out and she's that's why she was Suicide Squad. More villain than hero. Gotcha. Big fact. Okay. Come on, we'll leave it going then. Will you tripping, man? I, man, you tripping, bro? Keep is that is that your six? That's that is my six. You wild, bro, <laughs> Patrick? Please. All right. Here, your boy, out. <laughs> when he leads with that, we're only going to one place. This is remember, DLC, though. Remember, this is DLC. Okay. My first rollout off top wouldn't even be a, ch- a, a question about it. Superman's dog. Think about it. Crypto? Right. Think about it. Think about the dynamic of the gameplay. That would be lit that would be my first rollout every good game has an animal that you can play. dt left okay no that's fine that's fine that's me left. leaving he would, left. he would have left at some point anyways okay <laughs> my a, second rollout one. my second rollout the ninja turtles hear me out come hear on, me man. out come on dog. if he keeps them i can keep black manta <laughs> <laughs> they have appeared in comic books. Yeah, they also appeared in Injustice. That isn't. Never mind. You got it, Pat. They are technically in the DC universe. I get it. That's like saying, I, okay, give me, give me, give me Scorpion. I was gonna oh, say he's still so out. Give me wait, wait, Scorpion. Wait, 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 wait. My third rollout. Kratos. Okay. Just. <laughs> <laughs> He's been everywhere else. I would Bro. like to see some of these. I would like to see some of these matchups. Okay, I would the enjoy crossover. a few of these matchups. And then my third and final one. 
Akuma. The, bro, I'm you done. I'm these done are the. <laughs> I'm done. I'm about to say, you might these have are me. these characters are all strong in the crossover community, and I feel like you can get some decent matchups. Give me Dream Spider Man. Matchups. Dream Man. Right. I, I, I didn't go into Marvel, <laughs> but I think we can go. We can get some decent fantasy matchups in our in, in multiplayer. Patrick. You want uh, Darth Vader next in here? He's still going. Well, my, okay, I got I got one more. I got one more. One more. <laughs> oh, <laughs> The Green Ranger. All right, that's it. All right, ladies All right. and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on another episode of the RK Tokens Podcast. Star Killer. We're going to leave you with those thoughts as we're going to knock out a part two of this epic open world Justice League game. Uh, the fact Wild, that man. Akuma and the Ninja Turtles somehow made it into this game. We and Kratos. We kind of need a break to regroup, get everything back again. So, CT, we of course are going to have you back on here, man. Always a pleasure to have you on here. Thank you for having um, me, man. Always want to thank the tech guy, Kadeem, for always holding it down. Again, we are the arcade tokens. I am the anomaly, Will Farrow. Yo, Thomas, I can't miss a slick living. I'm Patrick Cloud. <laughs> you are high on something. I <laughs> and we will catch Inspiration. you next time. Crypto was enough, Pat. Jeez. Oh, no, God. you know what's sad? I got behind the dog. I was like, okay, super bark. Flight laser. Okay, I can I could see where he's going with this. Right. Mm -hmm. And then he just took a straight left off the freeway. I'm like, well, mm -hmm. we tried. Ninja the Ninja Turtles, bro. You wildin', bro.